Battle for Dream Island is known for its character interactions. So today I'll be talking about 5 BFB characters who were once hidden in BFB, but are now loved in Teapot. But first, before I continue the video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. It helps me a lot, and Grassy gets to live for another day, okay? Starting off the list at number 5 is Pillow. In BFB, Pillow's personality is very inconsistent. In some episodes, she acted extremely nice, while in others, she acted extremely ditzy, and sometimes she even acted rude. As the episodes went by, she slowly started to become disliked as all the other Death Pact members started playing bigger roles in episodes, while she continued to not do much. Out of 64 characters, she was ranked 59th place overall in BFB 13's popularity poll, even being the least voted member on Death Pact. However, she managed to avoid any real danger due to Death Pact's 11 episode immunity streak. Nevertheless, she would likely have ended up in the bottom 2 with Pi, if Death Pact were to lose again. Fortunately for her though, BFB was split into two different shows. In Teapot, Pillow would undergo a complete character transformation. She went from trying to prevent death to actively causing it, such as using her teammates as weapons against Puffball or the Dragon. She also went from being mostly useless in BFB to completely carrying her teams during challenges in Teapot. Her sudden personality change has resulted in her popularity soaring, as she was the first one safe on her team during Just Not's elimination. But I would still rank her the lowest on the list because the others are more loved than her. Speaking of the others, Golfball's next on the list at 4th place. Golfball throughout BFDI, BFDIA, and BFB has been one of the most hated contestants in the entire show's history. Golfball is hated because of her superiority complex, as she sees herself as smarter and better than everyone else, rarely taking everyone's advice and just being extremely controlling and overall just being annoying. No matter what, in almost every elimination, she always ends up being in the bottom two, which she usually survives by a very small vote gap. While in Teapot, Golfball has mostly stayed true to her bossy personality, she is also starting to see more growth as she recently apologized to Puffball for excluding her in challenges, and she also has an ongoing rivalry with Basketball that people also find interesting, which has resulted in Golfball gaining more fans throughout Teapot, even being second safe on her team during the Are You OK's elimination. Right after Bozo Brain Bossy Bot, it's Snowball at third place on this list. Similar to Golfball, Snowball has always been somewhat disliked since BFDI. However, unlike Golfball, he's been hated for being a bully and his lack of intelligence. But it was in BFB where the hatred for Snowball would peak. In BFB 8, Match and Snowball ganged up on Bubble, constantly bullying her for not knowing the answers despite their own lack of knowledge. In BFB 11, Snowball went as far as injuring Fanny for just talking back at him, and he kept repeatedly killing Bubble. As a result, he found himself in the bottom 2 during Isis' elimination in BFB 12. Fortunately enough for Snowball, he managed to survive the elimination due to the incompetence of Pencil and Match. Although he would have been 100% screwed the next time Ainz was up for elimination, the show would eventually split up into two separate branches, which would save him from imminent removal. Even so, in Teapot, Snowball found himself in a bad spot as no one wanted to team up with him due to his previous actions, which caused him to be the last one picked for his team, which led to Snowball toning down his violence as he tried to be nicer to his fellow teammates, such as Grassy, and he made more efforts to contribute to her in challenges. However, his lack of intelligence has sometimes proven to be of detriment. While Snowball still has his moments of occasional violence, he is more liked than his BFB counterpart, being consistently second safe on his team during eliminations, only behind the fan favorite piece of grass. Taking second place on this list is another ball contestant, and that's none other than Puffball. Her journey throughout the show has been quite interesting, as she began the show as the most popular character in BFDIA, constantly receiving the most likes and earning prizes. However, in a single episode, she went from being the most beloved character to the, being the most hated character, which would lead to her early elimination in BFDIA 6, all because she got too greedy and decided to sabotage her team just for another prize. Fortunately enough for her, BFDIA would be cancelled, which would give Puffball a second chance to compete. Even if this incident happened 10 years ago, some people still haven't forgotten what happened in BFDI A5 and still continue to hate her even to this day. And Puffball would damage her already ruined image by helping stay beachy in BFB 8, which resulted in her losing for her team and causing her to be in the bottom 2 during Free Foods elimination. But BFB splitting into two different shows would save her, as either she or Yellowface would be screwed the next time Free Food was up for elimination. In Teapot, Puffball would join Golfball's team because she was excluded from joining the team last season despite also being a ball. 
but she would be constantly excluded from helping in challenges because of Golfball's mistrust of her due to her previous actions, which caused Puffball to start sabotaging other teams, so that she still wanted to help her team, but a Golfball didn't allow her to. And some people felt bad for Puffball, as they felt like Golfball was being too petty. People also started to like Puffball's friendship with Fries, as Fries was the only one who ever stood up for her whenever Golfball would try to exclude her. Even Puffball admits that Fries was her only true friend on the team when she discovers that he was in the bottom too. While Puffball still has a lot of haters due to her sabotaging other teams, others feel like her actions are more justifiable since she's doing it to help her own team instead of her own selfish reasons. Which is why she's second place on this list. Before I get to number one on this list, I'd like to say some honorable mentions, which are Fanny. Because she used to be hated in BFB, but she was redeemed, mostly because of Bubble. Another honorable mention is Robot Flower. Non-object characters such as herself tend to be hated, as she ranked bottom 3 during R a better name than that's Illumination, despite not really doing anything. I'd like to also include Bottle. All Bottle was known for in BFB was her silly moments. While she's still goofy in Teapot, she still had her moments of being serious, such as telling Clock to stop pushing Winner. And my final honorable mention goes to Eggy, just purely for the fact that a person on YouTube made an hour long video about her redemption. And that's gotta be worth something if you could have someone talk about you for an entire hour and a half. This is why she's here. Some of you may not expect this, but number one on the list is... Yellowface. Yellowface has been able to completely turn the tide of public opinion. Back in his days of BFDIA and BFB, Yellowface was very hated, as he always placed in the bottom three in his eliminations due to being a non-object and also being considered annoying by the viewers. Though, he always managed to barely escape his eliminations due to the mistakes of his teammates, such as Stapy and Puffball cheating in BFB 8. In BFB, Yellowface didn't do much besides advertising his products, which some found annoying while some found funny. In Teapot, Yellowface would get new opportunities as he was able to team up with his friends Rocky and Cloudy. Yellowface also would prove himself as an actual asset to his team by using his products and musical talents to help in challenges. His popularity would be further boosted due to clock screwing over Yellowface's performance in Teapot 3. And major swellers for Teapot 7, but in the two eliminations that Yellowface has been in, he's been the first save twice, even surpassing the fan favorites on the team, such as Winner and even Rocky in votes. And major swellers for Teapot 7, but in the two eliminations that Yellowface has been in, He's been the first save twice, even surpassing the fan favorites on the team, such as Winner and even Rocky in votes. So what do you guys think? Do you agree with my rankings? Why or why not? Feel free to leave your opinions on these characters in the comments below, and any other characters you think should have been in this list, or at least mentioned. But most importantly, thank you for watching up until this point. This is where my video will unfortunately end, so thank you for watching.